the shade, I have to give you that. But the sunshine, oh, the warmth of the sun feels absolutely wonderful. The Bills game is on tonight. It's not at home, but we're going to have the better weather out of the two locations. As we look at the end of the week, or I should say middle of the week, we do begin to cool down, and then we'll watch temperatures rise once again. Notice there's some snowflakes in that forecast. We'll talk about that as we get into it. Now, time lapse, you can't see anything in the sky moving around just because there are no clouds. What we are watching uh, is a boat going in and out, and you can also see more of that southerly wind with kind of the ripples along the water there. Beautiful afternoon across western New York. It is now in the mid-50s. Average high, if you'd like to know, is 52, so we're already above that. We're going to head into the 60s for the afternoon, but notice the sunset. We're now in the work week where we are in daylight saving time, so we are below that 5 p.m. mark, and it's going to continue to go down until the winter solstice. As we look at 7 Super Doppler. We even have the satellite shot on there where the sun would bounce off any cloud cover that's out there. You don't see a thing. All the kids going to school this morning had to bundle up a little bit. And now they'll be shedding those extra layers. 63 degrees. We'll call it an A plus. That's for sure on the ride home, not only for the kids, but also maybe the adults driving home from work as well. You'll need the shades. And temperatures aren't going to drop as much as they did last night. We'll have the sunshine continuing for the overnight. We'll be in the middle for Thank you to that southerly wind. And we'll eventually see some of those high, thin cirrus clouds start to move in. I was talking about us having the better weather of the two locations for the Bills game. If you'd like to know, take a look at it. A few showers for pregame right here on Channel 7. Kickoff 8:15. They'll be in the 50s with a light breeze and cloudy skies while we're sitting in the sunshine as we go into the next couple of hours. That's until the sun sets. Now. Hour by hour, sun continues through the overnight. We're pretty much all clear. We'll have some high thin clouds starting to build in through the morning on Tuesday. Those that will be hitting the poles for your morning and into your early afternoon, just in the way of some cloud cover, a little bit breezier than what we're dealing with today. And by the time we get to our ride home, that five to six o'clock time frame, southern Ontario will be seeing some rain showers past the six o'clock mark for Niagara Falls, and then reaching towards Buffalo as we go to eight or nine o'clock at night. Chief Meteorologist Aaron Minkowski will be here all evening long, and then he'll be watching 7 Super Doppler as we get into the 11 o'clock show as well. So our Tuesday is going to end with some rain showers, but it will be quite mild near 60, and again, a little bit breezier than what we have today, and then eventually some cloud cover and rain. Watch those overnight temperatures. We start our Wednesday in the 50s, but we end in the 40s, and eventually we drop into the 30s. By the afternoon on Wednesday, we'll get rid of the rain. On Thursday, mid 50s We'll have the next shot of rain coming in on Friday, but this is also where things cool down. We start out warmer than what we're going to finish for our Friday afternoon, and it doesn't look like we're going to have any type of accumulating snows for Friday and Saturday. Everything's just not meshing together to make that happen. We don't have enough uh, fetch what we call it is the air going over the lake to kind of pick up some of that uh, moisture and warmth. So. We're going to see a few flakes flying, and it's going to be a little bit chilly going into the weekend. I started up my snowblower and my generator yesterday just to make sure they're both in working order in yeah. case I need them at some point. You can hear them humming in, in the distance in <laughs> yeah. uh, different uh, neighborhoods. They're all getting ready. Prepping. As we're all out there raking leaves. Exactly. All right, thanks.